applying to go move overseas is one thing, but actually accepting the offer, signing a contract, um, that was way more intense. It was way more permanent, you know, set in stone. And when I did that, it was it was official. I was moving to Egypt for six months by myself as a 17 year old. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another video. So by my video's title, you've probably guessed that I'm obviously about to move countries and um, yeah, so I, I guess I just wanted to announce that to you guys because obviously that means that there's going to be a lot of new content, a lot of um, really different stuff that you'll be seeing from me, my channel, my Instagram. This video is just going to break down like what I'm doing and at the end of April, which is next month, I'll be jetting off and moving um, to Egypt for six months uh, by myself. And yes, I am only 17. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that I just graduated high school last year. My age, however, has never really been like this thing that stopped me from doing things in my life. And so I've never really sat down and thought, whoa, I'm 17 and I'm about to move the country for six months by myself. And I think that I never really um, thought about it like that. But I know that a lot of people do think of it like that. So I thought it'd be really, really cool for you guys to pick my brain a bit um, for me to document this entire journey and so you guys can see all of it because in all honesty, I'm shit scared. <laughs> but, you know, I'm never gonna let that stop me from taking on really good opportunities and get to see the world. So throughout this journey, throughout the six months and after that, of course, um, I will be documenting everything. So on this channel, there will be a lot of content um, on my Instagram as well. So if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to follow, um, just hit the subscribe button now and you can follow my Instagram which is at AmeliaXMichaels I'll leave that all in the description and soon I'll be starting a blog as well especially for this just because I want to like add some more in-depth content as well written content so let's get to the first question that everyone asks me when I tell them that I'm moving next month to Egypt by myself um, why in the world am I doing this? So, I've always wanted to travel ever since I was little. It was always a really big priority in my life and it was always a, a massive goal in my life as well. And to always do really different things and get out of my comfort zone, you know, like living a boring life, a routine, really average life has always been a negative in my eyes like personally that's just not how I want to lead my life when I started this YouTube channel obviously if you followed me for a while or if you found me through these videos I started when I went to Japan in 2016 because originally I've always wanted to start a travel channel so that's why I started when I went to Japan so that was always a really big goal for me as well and I think that this move will be a really big stepping stone um, towards that goal as well and documenting all of that and starting different like more travel photos on my Instagram a travel blog and so long story short I was getting a bit bored here um, I felt like I wasn't doing what I've wanted to do for so long which is travel of course but I was really really limited with like no money <laughs> because I'm so bad at saving um, and so I I was just getting bored and lacking inspiration and so when some things went down at work I decided to think of ways that could get me overseas with little to no money um, and I could like sustain being overseas for a long period of time. Uh, I was on YouTube and I found this chick that uh, she works in like Universal Studios and uh, Tokyo Disneyland and all of that as a Disney performer and so she gets everything paid for her accommodation mainly food I think flats everything like that and she gets paid and she just had a little bit of acting experience turns out I have a little bit of acting experience so when I was watching these videos I was like hey I could do this uh, so she had some links I applied for some things you know just whatever 
maybe I'll get one, maybe I won't. That exact, exact same day, I got an email saying, hey, <laughs> if you want to move to Egypt, you can totally do that. <laughs> so, obviously didn't really say that, but it's what I got from the email. Uh, and now, one of the things that I, want, that I want to address as well is a lot of people, when I tell them that I'm moving to Egypt, you know, their faces kind of drop and are like, you're moving to Egypt? Like, Egypt out of all places? And so, I want to address this. I know that Egypt gets horrible uh, media and publicity around the world, especially in the Western countries. It is true that the media would like to portray certain countries in certain ways uh, for certain reasons. I feel like that's exactly what's happened with Egypt. Um, so when I sat down and researched a lot about Egypt, I wanted to hear from people who have actually visited Egypt recently what it was like over there. So I looked on YouTube of course, searched some YouTube videos, I found this one channel that I am now obsessed with. Uh, her name is Travel Light, I will link her in the in below. Uh, I love her videos, she doesn't know I exist but I love her videos and she talks about a lot of it in her videos of Egypt about safety in Egypt, um, what it's really like there and she has some really good videography and photography skills that show you, you know, the Egypt that you don't really think exists. Like, Egypt looks incredible. <laughs> Travel Light is her um, YouTube channel, but her name is Jordan and she is a young American girl who is a full-time traveler. Now, she originally went to Egypt for one month, whoops, but ended up staying there for two months because she just loved it that much. She was alone the entire time and she travelled all around the country, took overnight trains, buses, everything like that and she talks about it, she never once felt unsafe. A woman, a travel woman that has inspired me recently is Cassie D. Piccolo. I'm really bad at pronouncing names but I'll leave her Instagram like here somewhere. <laughs> uh, so she is also an American, a blonde American girl, like woman, uh, who has two Guinness World Records now for being the fastest person to travel to every single country in the world and the fastest woman. Uh, that means that she visited Iraq, she went to Syria by herself. A lot of her movements is changed through tourism and obviously women solo traveling, you know, the visuals and the portrayal of women traveling solo is often negatively looked at and very, you know, women just shouldn't, shouldn't travel by themselves, it's unsafe, it's, you just shouldn't, you should always be with men, blah blah blah, but, you know, all these places that get bad um, publicity but she went to and were amazing and the people were amazing and I feel like during this trip to Egypt, I can definitely enlighten a lot of you about certain issues like that. You know, there's, there's bad stuff that happens all around the world. It doesn't, it's not just confined to certain countries or certain groups of people or anything. Okay, so moving on. What am I actually doing for a job in Egypt and where will I be based? So, where will I be based? Um, in a place called Hergana. I don't even know if I pronounce that properly, but I'll swip through some photos of it here, somewhere. Hergana uh, is really well known for their resorts, their really uh, luxurious resorts. I'll put some more photos here of the resorts. <laughs> I'm living and working with a company that travels to these resorts along the Red Sea, and we do different performances for the guests there and the tourists there. Uh, organize events and everything like that so that's why I said when I had a little bit of acting skills that I applied for some performing based jobs so that's that that's basically what I'll be doing you know a few hours a day uh, my accommodation is paid for I live in the resorts that I work in uh, my food is paid for well I get I get three meals a day in the restaurants in the resorts so I feel like that's enough <laughs> uh, and my flight home is paid for. If I pick the 12 month contract, both um, plane tickets like there and back would have been paid for, 
but I am going to Southeast Asia in November and I didn't want to miss that. I know some of you might be watching this and be thinking, wow, she's so stupid, so irresponsible doing that by herself as a woman. But you know what? <laughs> you might think this is irresponsible, but I think this is just daring and it's something that I've always wanted to do and I want to get out of my comfort zone. I want to be scared shitless, but I know that it's going to be a really good experience in turn. I'm also not stupid, I do know how to make sure that companies are legit and look legit. Not, not like more than just look legit, but really look legit. I know you can never be 110% sure with everything, but again, you can't really be sure with anything, but you can't stop living your life and taking on opportunities like this. If you would like to, just hit the subscribe button, follow my Instagram, and look out for the launch of my blog that I'll be launching soon. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video, or maybe in Egypt. Bye!